Hey learners, Pranshi Parma this side. Welcome to this YouTube session guys. In today's YouTube session, we are going to learn financial derivatives, multiple choice question and answer. And this is a practice set for you guys. And this and they are very really, very important question for your upcoming examination. And this is what I want to say with you guys. Please, you have to cover multiple choice question and answer. Cover kije, but as well as you have to clear your theory of subject. So you can attempt your multiple choice question and exam very well. Your confidence level is very high. Ho. Now, let's begin the session. In this, your first question is. The payrolls of financial derivatives are linked to option A. Securities that will be issued in the future. Option B. The volatility of interest rates. Option C. Previously issued securities. Option D. Government regulation is specifying allowable rates of returns. Option E. None of the above. Right answer is option C. Next question. Financial derivatives include option A. Stocks. Option B, bounds. Option C, futures. Option D, none of the above. Right answer is option C, futures. Financial derivatives include futures. Next question. Financial derivatives include option A, stocks. Option B, bonds. Option C, forward contracts. And option D, both A and B are true. Right answer here is option C, forward contracts. Next question. Which of the following is not a financial derivative? Option A. Stock. Option B. Futures. Option C. Options. Option D. Forward contracts. Right answer is option A. Stock. Stock is not a financial derivative. Next question. Why hedging a portfolio a bank manager? Option A. Reduces interest rate risk. Option B. Increases reinvestment risk. Option C. Increases exchange rate risk. Option D. Increases the probability of gains. Right answer is option A. Reduces interest rate risk. Next question. Which of the following is a reason to hatch a portfolio? Option A. To increase the probability of gains. Option B. To eliminate exposed to risk. Option C. To profit from capital gains when interest rates fall. Option D. All of the above. And option E. Both A and C of the above. Right answer is option B. To limit exposed to risk. Okay. Next question. Hedging risk for a long position is accomplished by option A. Taking another long position. Option B. Taking a short position. Option C. Taking additional long and short positions in equal amounts. Option D. Taking a neutral position. Option E. None of the above. Right answer is option B. Taking a short position. Next question. Hedging risk for a short position is accomplished by option A. Taking a long position. Option B. Taking another short position. Option C. Taking additional long and short position in equal amounts. Option D. Taking a neutral position. Option E. None of the above. Right answer is option A. Taking a long position. Next question. A contract that requires the investors to buy securities on a future date is called a option A. Short contract. Option B. Long contract. Option C. Hedge. Option D. Cross. Right answer is option B. Long contract. Next question. A long contract requires that the investors. Option A. Sell securities in the future. Option B. Buy securities in the future. Option C. Hedge in the future. Option D. Close out his position in the future. Right answer is option B. Buy securities in the future. Next question. A person who agreed to buy an asset at a future date has gone. Option A. Long. Option B. Short. Option C. Back. Option D. Ahead. Option E. Even. Right answer is option A. Long. Next question. A short contract requires that the investors. Option A. 
sell securities in the future option b buy securities in the future option c hedge in the future option d close out his position in the future right answer is option a sell securities in the future okay next question a contract that requires the investors to sell securities on a future date is called a option a short contract option b long contract option c hedge option d micro hedge right answer is option a short contract okay next question if a bank manager choose to hedge his portfolio of treasury securities by selling futures contracts he option a gives up the opportunity for gains option b removes the chance of loss option c increase the probability of a gain option d both a and b are true right answer is option d both a and b are true okay next question to say that the forward market lacks liquidity means that option a forward contracts usually result in losses option b forward contracts cannot be turned into cash option c it may be difficult to make the transactions option d forward contracts cannot be sold for cash option e none of the above right answer is option c it may be difficult to make the transaction next question a disadvantage of a forward contract is that option a it may be difficult to locate a counterparty option b the forward market suffers from lack from lack of liquidity option c these contracts have default risk option d all of the above and option e is both a and c of the above right answer is option d all of the above okay so a b and c all are right options right answer is option d all of the above next question forward contract are risk because they option a are subject to lack of liquidity option b are subject to default risk option c has a portfolio option d both a and b are true right answer is option d both a and b are true okay so forward contracts are risk are risky because they are subject to lack of liquidity as well as they are subject to default risk okay next question the advantage of forward contracts over future contract is that they option a are standardized option b have lower default risk option c are more liquid option d none of the above right answer is option d none of the above okay next question the advantage of forward contracts over futures contract is that they option a are standardized option b have lower default risk option c are more flexible option d both a and b are true right answer is option c are more flexible okay next question forward contracts are of limited limited usefulness to financial institutions because option a of default risk option b it's impossible to hedge risk option c of lack of liquidity option d all of the above option e both a and c of the above right answer is option e both a and c of the above okay so a and c here is right answer forward contracts are of limited usefulness to financial institution you because of default risk and because of lack of liquidity next question future contracts are regularly traded on the option a chicago board of trade option b new york New York Stock Exchange option C American Stock Exchange option D Chicago Board of Option Exchange right answer is option A Chicago Board of Trade okay next question hedging in the futures market option A eliminates the opportunity for gains option B eliminates the opportunity for losses option C increase the earning pot potential of the portfolio 
ऑप्शन डी डज आल ऑफ द अब एंड ऑप्शन इज डज बोथ ए एंड बी ऑफ द अब राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ई डज बोथ ए एंड बी ऑफ द अब सो हेयर हैजिंग इज द फ्यूचर मार्केट एलिमिनेट द अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर गेम्स एंड एलिमिनेट द अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर लॉसेस ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन When interest rate fall, a bank that perfectly hedges its portfolio of treasury securities in the future market, option A, suffers a loss; option B, experiences a gain; option C, has no change in its income; option D, none of the above. Right answer is option C, has no change in its income. Next question. Future markets has grown rapidly because futures option A are standardized option B have lower default risk option C are liquid option D all of the above right answer is option D all of the above okay next question parties who have bought a future contract and thereby agree to blank space take delivery of the bonds are said to have taken a blank space position option a sell and short respectively option b buy and short respectively option c sell and long respectively option d buy and long respectively right answer is option d buy and long okay let's see parties who have bought a future contracts and thereby agreed to buy take delivery of the bonds and said to be have taken a long position okay next question parties who have sold a future contract and thereby agreed to blank space deliver the bonds are said to have taken a blank space position option e sell and short respectively option b buy and short respectively option c sell and long respectively option d buy and long respectively right answer is option a sell and short let's see parties who have sold a future contract and thereby agreed to sell deliver the bonds are said to have a short position okay next question by selling short a future contracts of dollar in this at a price of 115 you are agreeing to deliver according to this your options are option a is this option b is this and option c is this and option d is this okay after solving is after solving this question you got the answer option a ओके एंड आप सॉल्व कीजिएगा अगर आपको कोई प्रॉब्लम होगी इस क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करने में तो आप मुझे कमेंट करके बता दीजिएगा मैं आपको कमेंट में इसका सॉल्यूशन जरूर प्रोवाइड कर दूंगी ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑन द एक्सपायरेशन डेट ऑफ ए फ्यूचर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट द प्राइस ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑप्शन ए आलवेज इक्वल टू परचेज प्राइज ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑप्शन बी आलवेज इक्वल द एवरेज प्राइज ओवर द लाइफ ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑप्शन सी आलवेज इक्वल द प्राइज ऑफ द अंडरलाइंग एसेट ऑप्शन डी आलवेज इक्वल्स द एवरेज ऑफ द परचेज प्राइज एंड द प्राइज ऑफ अंडरलाइंग एसेट ऑप्शन ई कैन नॉट बी डिटर माइंड राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी आलवेज इक्वल्स द प्राइज ऑफ द अंडरलाइंग एसेट्स ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द प्राइज ऑफ ए फ्यूचर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एज द एक्सपायरेशन डेट ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑप्शन ए इक्वल्स द प्राइज ऑफ द अंडरलाइंग एसेट ऑप्शन बी इक्वल्स द प्राइज ऑफ द कॉन्टर पार्टी ऑप्शन सी इक्वल्स द हैच पोजिशन ऑप्शन डी इक्वल्स द वैल्यू ऑफ द हैच एसेट एंड ऑप्शन ई नन ऑफ द अब राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए इक्वल्स द प्राइज ऑफ द अंडरलाइंग एसेट ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एलिमिनेशन ऑफ रिस्क लेस प्रॉफिट अपॉर्चुनिटीज इन द फ्यूचर मार्केट इज ऑप्शन ए हैचिंग ऑप्शन बी आर्बिट्रेज ऑप्शन सी स्पेक्चुलेशन ऑप्शन डी अंडर राइटिंग ऑप्शन ई डाइवर्सिफिकेशन राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी आर बी ट्रेज ओके एलिमिनेशन ऑफ रिस्क लेस प्रॉफिट अपॉर्चुनिटी इज इन द फ्यूचर मार्केट इज आर वी ट्रेज नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ यू सॉल्ड ए शॉर्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑन फाइनेंशियल फ्यूचर यू होप इंटरेस्ट रेट ऑप्शन ए राइज ऑप्शन बी फॉल ऑप्शन सी आर स्टेबल ऑप्शन डी फ्लक्चुएट राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए राइज ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन 
If you sold a short future contract, you will hope that interest rates, option A, rise, option B, fall, option C, are stable, option D, fluctuate. Right answer is option A, rise. Okay. Next question. If you bought a long contract on financial futures, you hope that interest rates, option A, rise, option B, fall, Option C, are stable. Option D, fluctuate. Right answer is option B, fall. Okay. Next question. If you bought a long futures contracts, you hope that bond prices, option A, rise. Option B, fall. Option C, are stable. Option D, fluctuate. Right answer is option A, rise. Next question. If you sold a short futures contract, you will hope that bound prices, option A rise, option B fall, option C are stable, option D fluctuate. Right answer is option B fall. Next question. Assume you are holding treasury securities and have sold futures to hedge against interest rate risk. If interest rate risk, if interest rate rise, option A. The increase in the value of the security is equal to the decrease in the value of the future contracts. Option B. The decrease in the value of security is equal to the increase in the value of the future contracts. Option C. The increase in the value of the increase in the value of the securities exceed the decrease in the value of the future contracts. Option D. Both the securities and the future contracts increase in value. Option E. Both the securities and the future contracts decrease in value. Right answer is option B. The decrease in the value of the securities equal the increase in the value of the future contracts. Okay. Next question. Assume you are holding treasury securities and have sold future to hedge against internet rate risk. If interest rates fall, option A, the increase in the value of the securities equal the decrease in the value of the future contracts. Option A, the increase in the value of the securities equal the decrease in the value of the future contracts. Option B, the decrease in the value of the securities equals the increase in the value of the future contracts. Option C, the increase in the value of the securities exceed the decrease in the value of the future contracts. Option D. Both the securities and the future contracts increase in value. And option E. Both the securities and the future contracts increase in value. And option E. Both the securities and the future contracts decrease in value. Right answer is option A. The increase in the value of the securities equal the decrease in the value of the future contracts. Okay. Next question. When a financial institution hedges the internet rate risk for a specific asset, the hedge is called a option A, macro hedge, option B, micro hedge, option C, cross hedge, option D, future hedge. Right answer is option B, micro hedge. Okay. Next question. When the financial institution is hedging interest rate risk on its overall portfolio, then the hedge is a option A, macro hedge, option B, micro hedge, option C, cross hedge, option D, future hedge. Right answer is option A, macro hedge. Next question. The number of futures contracts outstanding is called option A, liquidity, option B, volume, option C, float, option D, open interest, option E, turnover. Right answer is option D. Open interest. Next question. Which of the following features of future contracts were not designed to increase liquidity? Option A. Standardized contracts. Option B. Traded up until maturity. Option C. Not tied to burn a specific type of bond. Option D. Marked to market daily. Right answer is option D. Marked to market daily. Okay. Next question, question number 50. Which of the following features of future contracts were not designed to increase liquidity? 
ऑप्शन ए स्टैंडराइज कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स ऑप्शन बी ट्रेडेड अप अंटिल मेच्योरिटी ऑप्शन सी नॉट टाइड टू वन स्पेसिफिक टाइप ऑफ बॉन्ड ऑप्शन डी कैन बी क्लोज विद ऑफ सेटिंग ट्रेड राइट ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन डी कैन बी क्लोज विद ऑफ सेटिंग ट्रेड ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्यूचर डिफर्स फ्रॉम फॉरवर्ड बिकॉज दे आर ऑप्शन ए यूज टू हैच पोर्टफोलियोज ऑप्शन बी यूज टू हैच इंडिविजुअल सिक्योरिटीज ऑप्शन सी यूज इन बोथ फाइनेंशियल एंड फॉरन एक्सचेंज मार्केट ऑप्शन डी ए स्टैंडराइज कॉन्ट्रैक्ट राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी ए स्टैंडराइज कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्यूचर डिफर्स फ्रॉम फॉरवर्ड्स बिकॉज दे आर ऑप्शन ए यूज टू हैच पोर्टफोलियोज ऑप्शन बी यूज टू हैच इंडिविजुअल सिक्योरिटीज ऑप्शन सी यूज इन बोथ फाइनेंशियल एंड फॉरिंग एक्सचेंज मार्केट एंड ऑप्शन डी मार्क टू टू मार्केट डेली राइट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी मार्क टू टू मार्केट डेली ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द एडवांटेज ऑफ फ्यूचर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट रिलेटिव टू फॉरवर्ड कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एंड दैट फ्यूचर कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑप्शन ए आर स्टैंडराइज मार्केट इट इजियर टू मैच पार्टीज देयर बाय इंक्रीज लिक्विडिटी ऑप्शन बी स्पेसिफाई द मोर देन वन बोन्ड इज एलिजिबल फॉर डिलीवरी मेकिंग इट हार्डर फॉर सम वन टू कॉर्नर द मार्केट एंड स्क्यूज ट्रेडर्स ऑप्शन सी कैन नॉट बी ट्रेडेड प्रायर टू द डिलीवरी रेट डेट there by increasing market liquidity and option d all of the above option e both a and b of the above right answer is option e both a and b of the above okay so here the advantage of futures contracts relative to forward contract is the future contracts is first one is a are standardized making it easier to match parties thereby increasing liquidity as well as specify that more than one bond is eligible for delivery making it harder for someone to corner the market and squeeze traders okay next question if a firm is due to be paid in due to say marked in two months to hedge against exchange rate risk the firm should option a sell foreign exchange future shorts option b buy foreign exchange future long option c stay out of the exchange future market option d none of the above right answer is option a sell foreign exchange future shorts okay guys now let's wind up this lecture see you in the next video thanks for watching this video and thanks a lot for your support please subscribe to my channel for more videos and wish you very very all the best for your examination